Hi, Nick Maruki here. I'm going to give you a couple of pointers for your grip as we head into the golf season this year. One thing I'd recommend all of you doing is when you take your grip to keep the club elevated a little bit, what this helps us do is allow us to get the club to rest a little bit lower in our hands. And that's going to get the heel pad to rest on top of the grip here. Most of the time, what everybody does is get the thumb pad resting on top. When the thumb pad rests on top, that doesn't allow our wrist the ability to hinge. By placing the grip a little bit lower in our hands with the heel pad on top, now that puts us into a position where we can allow the club to hinge, which is gonna help us create a little bit more power and speed through the golf swing. Now that's a little bit different grip than we would take with a putter. If I have a putter in my hand, that's where now I'm gonna to wanna to get my thumb pad to rest on top of the grip instead of down the, in the heels. Because in the putter, we don't need our hands and our wrists to hinge this much. So those are the two different types of grips that you can use. Work on those at home. And if you need any help throughout this season with your golf game, please contact me at Tippecanoe Lake Country Club. Thank you.